Making It in Botswana, a TV show that takes you on a behind-the-scenes look at how everyday items are manufactured right here in Botswana. Making It in Botswana, brought to you by Botswana Investment and Trade Center. Go Botswana! In today's episode, we visit the Botswana Vaccine Institute, where they take us through the process behind the making of livestock vaccines. We then head off to a company called Fiberland to learn about the process of bath manufacturing. This is Making It in Botswana. Botswana is a world-renowned beef exporter, so BVI plays a pivotal role in ensuring the finest product of the highest quality is exported to the rest of the world. Today on Making It in Botswana, we will be witnessing how this essential tool is made. This is Making It in Botswana. Kalamu Kalamu Botswana Vaccine Institute, my dear Lord. I am going to be able to get a little bit of 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 a little institute ba ile or ba hilwe tirwa go nna ha go bere ka le rona o tlhomisa re dira o re dirisa kitso ya bone sentle ga re iutswe ga re ene ba ngkontle ka tselesa siama me ke le bogala wa re ba ba setseng botlhe ke ba tswana ba ba dira lang company ya botswana mo nwa ge ntse pedi tse tharo tse di hitileng re bone kgolo mo thekisong ya ya mile mo rona mo hatsa ha rohane re bone mo ha hitile re re ksetsa mahatsa le 24 me go ntse go tsweletse go agola ka re tsentse mahatsa wa West Africa bo Togo bo Burkina Faso bo Mali ya lo ya lo le bogana re tlhoma misa selo sa mile mo rona ka gore re itlamile gore mile mo rona e se ka ya tshwana le babang re na le mo go tong quality management system scheme in place e lo re ke I saw 9001 2008 year at least in 2015 we saw sale of some hats at Europe or to good manufacturing practice European good manufacturing practice mo ma re ntse tlhametse ditlang ba ga e tshotebalo pelo ya botswana vaccine institute ke Puri ana re tsweletse re re tlhabolla madirelo gore re tsene mo semosa European Union good manufacturing practice ha tender ra etswa re batla gore bo gotwe o tlhaela se o le BVI ke tswale ke re ke le boga dire di ka nna ke le boge le bone customer tsa rona re ba re tshepa ba khona gore bolala ha bana le matshwenyo go ba tswelle ba direelo ile bo gelene gore mentsa rena monga kompone go bantsa re retsa this is making it in botswana this is where the production begins we first begin by cleaning and sterilizing all material that will be used in the production process from gear to apparatus sterility is of paramount importance in the production of a vaccine This is done to ensure there is no cross contamination as well as no contamination from the environment into the product. All utensils used in the production have to pass here first before being dispatched to their various stations.
Sterilization takes place in the autoclave or oven. In the autoclave, the process of sterilization begins by vacuuming and passing the heat in the form of steam onto the material. The temperature of sterilization is 121 degrees Celsius. It has to maintain this heat and pressure for 45 minutes for complete sterilization. After the sterilization process, now our material can be dispatched to various stations, ready to be used in the manufacture of vaccines. Now to the media lab. This is where the mixture that is used to grow cells is produced. This mixture contains water, protein, amino acids and vitamins. It should be at the right pH for the maximum growth of the cells. The media is then filtered. This will remove any unwanted particles including microbes. This filtration serves as yet another form of sterilization. After the filtration of the media, it is then transferred through sterile pipe to the cell lab. This is where we grow cells. The aim is to reach a certain concentration of cells. There is a constant progress check by removing one to check if the conditions are right. This is called culture monitoring. Let's take a short break. This is Making It in Botswana. Welcome back to Making It in Botswana. The cell monitoring may also be done by physically counting the cells and even checking their appearance. Now they are pushed through again, you guessed it, clean and sterile transfer pipes to the various lab. At this stage, we begin first by preparing the virus seed called virus inoculum. This is the life virus of the specified virus strain we want to grow. It is then introduced to the cells. Remember, these are the cells we grew at the cell lab. The virus culture has to be monitored. This is done by counting the cells. We count the number of cells that are dead. This is called the cytopathic effect. There is a target. A certain percentage of cells have to be killed to know the full effect of the virus. Then, we separate the virus from the dead cells or cell debris. Next, they are filtered. After the filtration, now we have life, pure virus. This life virus is then deactivated. This is done chemically. Samples are taken throughout the process for quality control. As it is very important to check whether the virus is inactive or not. Now we call our end product an antigen. This stage is done according to the needs of the customer. Some prefer a raw unfiltered vaccine. Some want it in its pure stage. We then have a ready to be used. It is then stored and ready for dispatch. Cells are stored in liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is nitrogen in a liquid state at an extremely low temperature. This unique characteristic alone makes storing cells for laboratory work easy. This is one dangerous substance so it must be handled with care at all times. Full PPE is imperative when dealing with liquid nitrogen. Our vaccines now are ready for usage. If they are transported to faraway destinations, ice packs are placed on top of them to keep and maintain cool temperatures. This is Making It in Botswana.
Let us take off to southeast of Botswana, where we'll learn about the process of building bathtubs. This is Making It in Botswana. In this episode, we head off to the outskirts of Khaboroni to a small village called Tlokweng that mothers a Botswana citizen-owned company called Fiberland. Fiberland manufactures different fiberglass-based products. Big baths, small baths, standalone baths, colored baths, all sorts of baths are made here. This is Making It in Botswana. Business e kana company na rona bidwa Fiberland. Ke kgwebo e dirang ka Fiberglass. Go dira dilo tsotse tse di harologanyeng. Kgwebo yo e simolo tsaka 2006. Me a simola gore ka 2007. E dirwa ke monomong wa Montariana yo go to Mr. J. Mo bo humpieno kgwebo e ke ya batswana mo go teng 100% uh, Botswana company kana citizen owned rena le ba bereki ba teng ga kgwebo e ba kana le somele botlhano ba bereki ba botheba ke batswana ko ntse ga ga ene Mr J yo ile gore ene ke ene moitsa nape kwa dilotse e bile ke ene a re rutang kana a rutang batswana botheba re hano tiro a gona jalo re dira me huta di bafu e harloganyeng ka go itse ga ne ga tsone ka bontsi ja tsone em re na le me huta e ka nna le some le borataro kwa kwa masubeng a mabedi ya me huta ya dibafu e le gore ra e dira go tsohela gore wena khathego ya gago ke a mo huta ma me re ntse le mo dibafu o ka nna wena wa taka bafu ya gago yo e ratang o selo go itra bogolo golo mo e rata thata wa boele tsa gore go dira le bafu a go nna jalo re ka go idirala ka ha wena kana ka ha yeo e ntse ka teng go tshwana ha le modi wonse dingwe tshwana bo me koro le bo re bo dikepe jalo re ka didira ha o na le sekepe sa go nna jalo we eletsa re go se direla gape ka ha sentse ka teng kana re se swa ha ditse ka ha wena o te bo ritse ka teng re dira ditanga tse ditona tsa metsi re dira di swimming pool re dira dikepe se tse o tshala ba tswa di dirile miriti ba ntse ka tsa sa ga tsone re dira di slide kana bo re lady jo ba nenga ba ithala ba re lela mo go jone ko matshame kwa neng a bone ha ba ntse ko ko ba tshame ka nteng ko re dira dilo tse ditafole tse go jalwa mo go tsone re dira dilo ka go harologana tsa ka bontsi ja tsone tse wena we ile tsa gore so sa go nna lo ka se direlwa ka fiber glass re le mola ha tsinene this is making it in botswana Let's take a look at how these are made. These tubs are built using a pre-made bathtub mold, which come in different shapes and sizes depending on the product at hand. Every bathtub built at Fiberland is built on a mold for consistency and to get an exact replica of the product description. Fiberland prides itself on its 100% handmade bathtub from the mold waxing to the end product. Every process has the handmade touch this is where it all begins the mold is first thoroughly cleaned with a wax polish before building this is where the inside of the tub will be built and as such it must be kept clean and smooth this is a very crucial part of the manufacturing process to ensure a good quality end product The wax keeps the mold smooth enough for the bathtub to be detached with ease once the process is done. All the necessary holes are covered temporarily to hinder the gel coat from penetrating the surface. The next process involves applying a gel to the mold. The gel coat is then applied to cover all the entire surface and sides of the mold to form the shape of a bathtub. The gel is left to dry for approximately 3 to 4 hours depending on the room temperature of the day before moving on to the next stage, the application of fiberglass. 
Let's take a short break. This is Making It in Botswana. Welcome back to Making It in Botswana. Prior to application of fiberglass, a chosen color is added to the bath. To ensure the fiberglass layer is thoroughly impregnated, a resin is used to eliminate any apparent air voids and also merge the fiberglass, which will then transform into a finished mold. Basic laminating tools such as a radius roller are used to get into the small areas such as the corners. A base is added to the bottom of the tub to ensure that when the tub meets the ground, it meets on a firm and solid footing. Once dry, the bathtub is separated from the mold using an air compressor. Air pressure from the previously concealed holes passes in between the mold and the bath and pushes the bath out. All protruding substances, be it fiberglass or gel coat, are trimmed from the bathtub at this stage, whilst on the mould before it completely dries. This is done to avoid breaking or cutting into the bathtub when the material has dried and become solid. Away from the pre-made mould, the bathtub then goes to the finishing department and placed on a pedestal that allows for the intricate finishing touches to be performed on it. The bathtub is then trimmed where the excess fiber is removed. To perfect the edges, a file is used to smoothen and soften the bathtub to become a product one wishes to see in their bathrooms. All the remaining dirt from the manufacturing is washed off the bathtub before it is released for inspection. After the washing, the bathtub is then taken to the next stage where the holes that were temporarily covered at stage 1 are then drilled out. The bath then goes through a polishing stage where it is further refined to ensure the smoothest of finishes.
After all this process, the bathtub is taken for final inspection. And if it passes the quality control phase, it is released for packaging. Each tub is individually wrapped with a plastic laminating cover, ready for our individual homes. In the season finale, we find out how Nortex Textiles makes those thirsty fuzzy towels that we've come to love. We then recap on all the companies we've visited. Lastly, a word from the CEO. This is Making It in Botswana.